All right, so uh, today we're going to talk about solvents, um, starting with water and, and alcohol, and that will open the way to talking about their uses and, and when you choose a water solvent or water as a solvent over an alcohol or organic solvent. Uh, so the dot points we're starting with today are identify water and alcohol as common, commonly used solvents. They're commonly, commonly used solvents. Done. Explain the relationship between properties of solvents and the use in cosmetics and external medications, so medications for outside the body. Now, uh, so what is a solvent? Well, quite simply, it's uh, a liquid that dissolves so uh, sorry another substance to create a solution it's pretty straightforward so particles in a solution are distributed evenly and we see that here. So here there are obviously the solvent is water here, and the particles are distributed evenly. When we add more water to it, the particles are still distributed evenly, just you know, spread further apart. So um, we'll say that as the solute distributes. Evenly within the solvent. Right. So sort of one along those two words there. They are important, obviously. Um, now this, well, I mean this allows effective distribution of substances through, say, the digestive system or skin. So the digestive system or across the skin. And that's what a solvent is and sort of why they're useful. Now, water, what is it about water? We'll start we'll quickly draw the molecule again for water. Uh, that's 120 degrees there. So you get the slightly negative end, slightly positive end. So, um, blue pen. Okay, most common solvent. Uh, it's actually known as the uni. It's the universal solvent mean that it dissolves a wide range of things and almost everything a little bit. Uh, works for polar molecules and ionic compounds. Now the polar molecules and ionic compounds, ionic compounds, are attracted to the positive and negative ends and are dissolved. And we've talked about this previously. So, why is it useful? Well, it's cheap. Um, and there's no toxicity. That's very, very important. Now, 
alcohols. So these are organic solvents. For example, this means they have sorry, uh, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen there. So specifically, ethanol is the most common. It's the most common organic solvent. Uh, like water, ethanol is polar. This means it dissolves polar molecules. And so it dissolves polar molecules and many organic compounds. Now, water does that. Water will dissolve polar molecules, but it won't dissolve much in the way of organic compounds. Now, I'll go back to Blakey for why is it useful? First, um, that was the bell. It's generally non toxic to the skin. We often don't take uh, this internally. It's often for an external medic medication. Uh, it's volatile. Now, this means it'll evaporate away rapidly, super quickly. Now, when it does that, further down. When it does that, it leaves a uniform covering of the solute medication, in this case, on the skin. choose. First, you're going to choose one that dissolves the active ingredients without interference. And specifically without an experience of its activity. You're going to choose one that's not toxic. There are a lot of organic solvents which will kill you or make you at least very sick super, super fast. Uh, you also want one that won't penetrate. Skin. Well, pause for that, huh? Now, let's be specific, okay? So, we're going to deal with cosmetics to start off with. Um, alcohols, you have aftershaves. Alternatives. Now, why uh, they evaporate quickly? 
Okay, uh, which means they cool your skin. They get mildly antiseptic, which means they kill the you know, kill the bugs on there, and they're astringent. What this means is that they close the pores. One uh, with water, so you know, you've, you've got foundation is a good example, and yeah, you know, okay, so it spreads evenly. It doesn't. It won't interfere with. You know how it, the color or the texture. And it doesn't dry rapidly. That's important for foundation. Last little bit, we're almost there. We do a medication, okay? All medication has active ingredients. Let's let's look at a lice lotion first. They have something called malathion. Now it's an organophosphate insecticide. So it's actually just an insecticide you put on your head. It's not water soluble, and you need a way to spread it evenly all over the scalp. And that's it. That's where we're at today. That's, that's our pretty much. That's us for solvents. And following this, we're going to do some experiments on dissolution of different different medications. So I want you to think about what are ways that we can speed up dissolving. Um, or in fact, just as important, particularly with internal medicines, what always can slow it down. Right. Stay rad.